these are the NEET 2021 questions in current electricity both are very simple questions. Let us have a look at the first question. The effective resistance of parallel construction construct connection that consists of four wires of equal length and equal area of cross section. We know the resistance of a wire R equal to rho L by A. If they are made up of same material rho is same it is given that their length is same their area of cross section same means R is same for all of them and 4 are connected in parallel this is 1, 2, 3, 4 this is the meaning of parallel connection. When the resistors are connected in parallel 1 by R parallel equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R4. If all are same 1 by R parallel equal to 4 by R that implies R parallel equal to R by 4. It is given that when they are connected in parallel their effect resistance is 0 0.25 that means R parallel is given to you as 0 0.25 each resistance by 4. That implies each resistance is 0 0.25 into 4 that is 1 ohm. What next it is said is what will be the effective resistance now all these 4 are connected in series. What do you mean by in series is connected this way each of them of R you know R series equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 if I are same that is 4 R each one is found as 1 so the answer is 4 ohms. So, answer for that problem is 4 ohms that is how we have to solve the problem. Let us have a look at the next uh, question 3 resistors having resistances R1, R2, R3 are connected as shown the ratio of I3 to I1 is this is I1 this I1 is split as I2 and I3 but we can say as per the Kirchhoff's first law as current is conserved current coming towards the junction is I1 currents leaving the junction is I2 plus I3 as you want I1 and I3's ratio I3 can be, I2 can be written like I1 minus I3. Now look at this this branch and this branch they are all parallel to each other you know what happens in parallel is potential difference is same current is shared what is potential difference I R is same. So, in the upper part I 2 R 2 equal to the lower part I 3 R 3, but I 2 can be eliminated by writing I 1 minus I 3 of R 2 equal to I 3 of R 3 multiply that I 1 R 2 minus I 3 R 2 equal to I 3 R 3 take this minus term to the other side I 1 R 2 equal to plus I 3 R 2 plus I 3 R 3 I 3 can be taken common then that is R 2 plus R 3 is I 1 R 2 that implies I 3 by I 1 means take this this side and that to this side R 2 by R 2 plus R 3 is the answer. So, R 2 by R 2 plus R 3 that is the answer for the problem. So, both these are things are solved on very basic aspects of current electricity right. So, he is trying to ask if you look at the pattern of the questions that what he is asking he is asking to identify the basics like what is the concept behind once if you know the concept answering this kind of questions is quite easy that is it thank you for watching.